What's going on my PT peeps and my Walking Dead family? One Eye Bri back from the PT channel to talk about The Walking Dead and some potential news about The Walking Dead Season 9. Some big stuff potentially, two time jumps possibly. Also this picture right here has been going around from Entertainment Weekly. It was put out today, July 11th and I'm sure as the days and the weeks go by we'll get more pictures, content, videos, trailers, I'm excited guys, but obviously spoiler warning if you don't want to know some of this information. But here at the PT channel, we're a family, a Walking Dead family. And to become a member of our Walking Dead family, it's easy. Just hit that subscribe button. Photo credits, info credits to the Spoiling Dead fans, The Walking Dead, AMC, and Entertainment Weekly. Now let's talk about this picture right here. It's for season nine. I'm guessing it's the first episode based on the pictures that we saw for the season nine premiere filming that was in Georgia. Pretty cool stuff, but it looks pretty similar was shown on a horse, you see Cindy, you see the horse and buggy, you see Al, you see one of the new characters, you see Enid in a hat, Sadiq, Carol in the back with the hat and the gear. There's also someone standing behind Michonne, not sure who that is, but we see a lot from this one picture. Now I'm excited guys. We also have some news here about season nine, episode six, and Larry Tang tweeted, that's a wrap on Walking Dead AMC episode 906. So much love for the cast and crew. Y'all are the sheet. Now I'm Atlanta airplane Vancouver. So I'm guessing it's Atlanta to Vancouver. Pretty cool stuff that they already wrapped 906. Not sure if it was yesterday or two days ago, but it's before Comic-Con. So I'm guessing they're starting episode 907 this week. But here's the big news from the Spoiling Dead fans that dropped today. We have independent source confirmation that there will be a second time jump in season nine. As already reported, episode one will show a time jump of approximately 12 to 18 months, including a bouncing baby Herschel. From recent photo and filming evidence, we were anticipating another jump. Source tells us the second time jump is five to six years. This also comes along with the confirmation that Matt Lintz will be playing an aged up Henry. The time jump appears to occur either between episode five and six or during episode six, the one that luckily just wrapped yesterday. What does this mean for Rick Grimes? Your guess is as good as ours. So here's Matt Lintz. Yes, he's the brother of Maxon and Madison Lintz. So that's Henry and Sophia on The Walking Dead, but he's playing an older Henry. Here's young Henry with Jerry. Henry still around. And I know a lot of people do not like Henry. They do not like the comparisons that it's Carl 2.0, but it could be. That could be the future Carl character. That's not gonna go well for a lot of people. And here's some pictures from the season nine episode one filming that people caught when they were filming at the Georgia Capitol building, not the DC Capitol building, the Georgia State Capitol building. But we thought this might've been Henry and some new guy, but I guess that's not Henry as it looks pretty different than Matt Lintz that's playing Henry, older Henry. Some new characters, do they survive? Do they not? Because remember in season four, we got some new characters that didn't make it out of the season four premiere. And I'm hearing some comparisons from season four and season nine. But what does this mean for Rick Grimes? I'm not sure. It doesn't look good for the possibility of Rick surviving or not. Because remember, episode 905, it's not confirmed 100% that Rick dies. Initially, it was thought to be confirmed and leaked that he does die, but then there's been some conflicting reports that he may survive or not. But if you have a time jump from episode five to episode six, five to six years, someone would have to wait that long to see if Rick survived or not. I don't know what to make of it. It's just all over the place. Let me know your thoughts, guys. Post your comments below. So we're going to get a time jump at the beginning of season nine. So from season eight to season nine, there's about a year or year and a half time jump. And then potentially another time jump in the first half of season nine. Man, that's some big jumps of time. We'll see what these characters and situations look like. Not sure if it's going to make sense or not. A lot of jumping around does not bode well for good storytelling, in my opinion. Let me know your thoughts. Post your comments below. If you're new to the channel, like, share, subscribe, and comment. We have a lot of fun here on the PT channel. When I get news, I share it with you guys, and I don't want you to miss out. So hit that subscribe button and get notifications. And remember, guys, with hard work, dedication, belief, and sacrifice, you can achieve your goals no matter what they are. Never give up on your goals and aspirations. Believe in yourself. If you can dream it, you can do it.